Hi friends, welcome to Azure content. This is part 4 in Azure Data Factory playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to create Azure Data Factory using CLI. That means command line interface. So to create a new data factory using CLI, we have an official documentation provided by Microsoft. So I'll share the link of this documentation in the description of this video. So the prerequisite in order to create Azure Data Factory using CLI is that you need to have a subscription. If you do not have an Azure subscription, you can create a free account subscription using this link. Now, once you have the subscription in place, you can either use the bash environment present in Azure Cloud Shell to write the commands to create Azure Data Factory or you can install the desktop version and run the commands in your local system. Okay. So these are the steps that you need to follow if you are doing that locally. So I'm going to go ahead with the bash environment version. So if you don't know where the cloud shell environment lies in Azure portal, then we can click on this link. Let me show this. Let me go to this documentation. Yeah. So it clearly depicts that this is the icon that will launch our cloud shell environment. Okay. So let me go to the Azure portal and try to find this icon. So in the top right corner of this page, we have few icons here. And the first icon, if I hover on this, you can see the name it is written as cloud shell. So let me click on this. So this is launching our cloud shell environment. Okay. Now let me scroll down further and we need to select the bash environment from this drop down. Okay. So let me, uh, so let me go back to the portal and search for this drop down. So you can see by default bash environment is selected. Other than that, we have PowerShell environment. Okay. So in our previous video, we have already covered how to create ADF using PowerShell. So I have done that locally, but you can go ahead and select PowerShell in order to create ADF using, using PowerShell script as well. So I'm good with bash. Let me keep it like that. So now let's go back to the documentation. So now it says with this command, you can list down all the subscriptions that you have access to. So let me copy this command to get the list of all the subscriptions and let me paste it here. So in order to paste anything in bash, you need to press shift plus insert button. And now let me hit on enter. So you can see it has given me the list of all the subscriptions where I have access with my ID. Okay. So currently I only have access to one subscription whose name is this. Okay. Now let me go back to the documentation. So we have ran this command. Now we need to set our preferred subscription where we need to create the data factory. So let me copy this and let me paste this in a notepad because we have to replace the subscription name. Okay. And instead of my subscription name, let me select the subscription name from here. Let me select from here itself. I just copied it. And let me paste it here instead of my subscription name. And let me copy the whole command. And let me run it here. In order to paste the command, we need to press shift plus insert. And let me hit on enter. So now we are under this subscription. So any command that we will run to create any resource, it will create under this particular subscription. Okay. So let's go back to the documentation. So let me further scroll down. So it is giving us the command to create a new resource group. So let me select this and let me run it like that. So here we have to specify the location and the name of the resource group. So let us keep it like that itself. I want to create the resource group in West US and let the resource group name be like my RG. So let me copy it and paste it again by uh, hitting shift plus insert and let's wait meanwhile let me open the resource group uh, list so it has already succeeded let's check if my rg has got created or not so let me minimize this and let's check for my rg let me refresh it yeah so you can see my rg has been created under West US. Okay. That was the location that we specified here. Right. So now we have the resource group in place 
where we want to create the data factory and let me just open that resource group as well my rg yeah so currently under this resource group we don't have any resources present okay so let's go back to the documentation so from here we don't need any other commands to run let's go back to the original documentation and one point to note here is in order to create data factory instance you should have either contributor role or an owner role or an administrator role in your subscription okay so i already have contributor role in my subscription so i am good with it so let's scroll down further so these commands are going to create a storage account and a container within it okay so i don't want to do that currently we will just focus on creating the adf so let's scroll down further and here is the command to create azure data factory so let's copy this command and our resource group name is my rg right so let me paste this command in the text file to replace that with resource group name that we have my rg okay let's copy the whole code here let me paste by entering shift plus insert and let me hit on enter so it says the command requires the extension data factory if we need to install we need to press y so let me press y and hit on enter so you can see it is downloading this extension so it fails saying that adf tutorial factory is already in use resource name must be globally unique so since we gave the default name that was present in documentation for adf let me uh, try to give a new name hyphen anu and let's try to run this code okay so i have copied this but before running the code to create adf let me just check that this uh, extension got installed or not so there is a command to check that that is az extension list okay let me hit on enter so it gave me the list of all the extensions present in the cli so you can see data factory extension is present now okay so now let me paste the command to create the data factory named as adf tutorial uh, factory hyphen anu under my rg resource group okay let me press on enter yeah so the command ran successfully and it has created the data factory it seems let's check the same in the portal let me uh, minimize it and let me hit on refresh under this resource group so you can see adf tutorial factory hyphen anu is present in my rg resource group and if i open this you will see the launch data factory studio option also so let's wait for this to launch yeah so you can see this adf environment is ready to use and you can create your uh, resources here so that's it for this video guys i hope you like the content please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet thank you